Hey everybody, Pirate RC here today with my NX10, and I just wanted to go over the NX10 itself. I'm doing these series videos where I tell you quick tips on uh, different functions of the radio and all, but I just wanted to go over the radio itself. Um, straight out of the box, the um, sticks felt longer to me than they did on my DX8 G2, which is the radio I have been flying for, with, for at least two years. Uh, if I went back and looked, found my receipt for it, probably more like three or four years. But before that, I had a, in that, uh, a DX6 G2. So, you know, same as that radio, but here's my eight. If you I mean, look at them side by side, they look very, very similar. <clears throat> the, I mean, the the knob here has moved of course to up here um, they've replaced this knob with a three-way position switch all of your front switches are three-way position switches uh, you had a three-way on the eight here and also here but so really only one new they added with this one here um, this one has always been a three-way on the eight um, they changed the location of the bond, the bond plug, oh, the bond button, I'm sorry. Um, as you can tell, they've moved it back further. Uh, I measured it, and I've forgotten what the measurement I want to say like the 8, I measured from the front here to here. Um, it was like 10 millimeters, and this one's like 30 millimeters. Uh, it's definitely a difference. Uh, that would be my pretty pretty much only only complaint because I do use my bond button for like rescue and stuff airplanes not really I don't use that on airplanes no need for it um but on helicopters I do so but I mean they're very similar the radios are thicker as you can tell I'm sure um the 10 is a thicker radio but the sticks straight out of the box were longer I could tell that right off the bat and it's really hard to tell if you're looking at them they are the same exact sticks um so but it's really hard to get them together but they are longer you can fully adjust them but it came with a uh allen key i'm not even taking it out of my package i just wrote on it what it goes to because i've got so many bags with parts in them from helis and whatever but anyway the radio feels really good I could tell right off it was lighter than my eight. I did weigh them. <clears throat> it was only like half an ounce. It wasn't a big deal, but it is lighter. Um, of course, it has the big um, 5,000 milliamp battery inside of it. Oh, no, 6,000. 6,000 milliamp battery, 3.7. And uh, I charged it up when I first got it and i have yet to charge it again but i'm fixing to have to because it's getting low one cool thing about it it came with the magnetic um the little magnetic um charge adapter so i just have been leaving this plugged into the radio some people say well it sticks out well when you lay the radio down it ain't like it can touch yeah, I have plenty of room, so none of this touches. You have your jack for your other modules if you want to do that. Um, the date on my radio, if I could get it to focus, is 1120. Um, but yeah, it feels really good. And it has a super, super, super fast boot up time. If I turn both of these radios on at the same time, you can see. Uh, make sure my throttle holds are on so I don't get no warnings. Everything else is normal. Hopefully, both radios will super boot up together. So, I'm going to go at the same time. Warning, high. I thought I had everything right. But anyway, this one does boot faster. And the screen is just amazing. Look at that screen and look at that screen. It's just so colorful, so pretty. I love it. 
Um, again, on my tent, I have it turned all the way down right now because that shows up better on video. But <clears throat> fully customizable, the screen. I've already done a video on that. Uh, the buttons feel really good to me. Another complaint, some people said if you shake it, you hear something rattling. The only thing that's rattling, guys, is this power button. You can feel it. It's loose inside of here. If you hold that, it's hard to hold it and shake it. But if you hold it, you really can't hear. Now, the bind button also can make some noise. Um, but, I mean, the bind button has never been tight on any radio. I mean, you can... I mean, they're the same. I'm sure it's the same exact button. <clears throat> they look the same. So, yeah. It's just different location. But anyway, guys, to me, it feels really good. It's got a really beefy neck strap here. It's really thick. Um, and the neck strap that they give you also is very thick. As you can see here, see how thin this one is to that one, which, I mean, it's never been a problem for me. On any radio. Um, I don't use neck strap a whole lot anymore. I used to fly in everything at one point. Helicopters and all. But here's the neck strap piece that comes with it. It's a very, very big, big, big uh, clamp. So if you do use it, I don't think you'll have to worry about that breaking off. Again, I never had a problem with this one, but... Anyways, guys, uh, next strap, you know, regular neck strap. You now it has Spectrum RC on it. I know it's upside down. NX10 Spectrum Smart Technology. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's just a kind of a quick overview. Sorry, guys, it kind of goes over my five minute quick tips, but it wasn't a quick tip. This is just an overview of the radio period. Very nice radio. You got your micro SD card here on the bottom. Don't forget, if you order this radio, you will need a micro SD card and not a full size SD card. So, uh, the way I got around that on my uh, radio, because I've always had the full size one in my radio, all I did was I got a micro one with this, you know, the adapter that comes with it. And I used the adapter and put it in my 8 to transfer the files and then I just took it out of the adapter put it in here and uh, did it so yeah so that's the way I did it that's my little quick overview the folding antenna I thought I wouldn't like it it's okay as long as it doesn't end up typically wanting to break off it feels pretty sturdy um, you know, you can fully adjust it while you're flying. If you hold your radio like this, adjust it, you know, put it on a 45. The gimbals on this do feel good. I'm not really a huge, you know, Hall Effect guy of to other gimbals, but they all feel good to me. But if this radio has a lot of use on it. It does feel a little bit looser to me. At, out of the box, these sticks are very nice and uh, tight. So, everything feels really Motor good. On. Everything feels really good to me. And I really Motor enjoy off. really enjoy flying with it. So, to turn it off, guys, you just hold down the button for a couple of seconds. You'll see the spectrum flash up, let go. And now she is booting down and she's off. So, thank y'all for watching this video. And until next time, happy flying. For any questions, comments, Please put them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks.